Hey everyone, I am Sritiraj Vastav Kalita and I am a first year BSMS student of ISER Pune. Having secured All India Rank 25 in ISER Aptitude Test 2022, I am here with you to guide you all through your journey to your respective dream ISER or NICER. So what I am going to focus primarily today is how to handle the exam stress and the anxiety which eventually comes to every student. So I am going to focus on four major things which you have to work on and you have to focus on. The first thing is never compare yourself with anyone because as you might have known that two functions can have different values for the same input and even two different functions can have same output for different inputs. So everyone is not same. You are you and only you. So everyone is unique. So the efforts each person have to give to get any an output is very different so don't compare yourself with anyone second point this is very crucial for the exam preparation because i did the same mistake and i found a way to get rid of it that is never think that any particular exam is very tough i did it i thought that j advance is very tough for me and actually it's tough but i thought it is not for me so in my entire 11th and 12th, when someone gave me any questions from J Advance, I would simply leave it. I even didn't see it, what it is. I thought it is very tough and I can't solve it. But it's not actually the case. When after my board exam, I took the previous year question bank of IIT J, chem especially chemistry. So I could solve the questions. It gave me very con very much confidence about it. And the IIT was the next. So it gave me a boost. So whenever someone give me a question without telling that it's from the J advance, I could solve it. But if someone told that this is the uh, question from IIT J, uh, IIT J like advance, I even couldn't solve it. So you shouldn't think that ISER attitude test or NEST is very tough. You have to work on it. But it doesn't mean that it's something that you can't do. The third point I am going to focus on is you are going to sit for the exam only for yourself not for anyone not to please anyone so don't worry about how others think about you just only go with your preparation well the last and the fourth point is the major thought that fluctuates in an examinee's mind is that how their parents will be reacting to their bad results and actually we don't have to bother about it and what i did to overcome this anxiety was I used to share my preparation with my parents. Even they didn't know anything about what I was studying. I still used to tell them how I am preparing, how much I have done and what much remaining. So what it does is it gives you a boost to do better and gives you a confidence on what you have done. So basically what you have to do is don't be worried about the exam. Just go, go with your preparation because any exam which is after the 12th is based entirely on the 11th and 12th syllabus. So you don't have to study anything else. You don't have to study the BSc syllabus. You don't have to go through the MSc syllabus. You just have to study the 11th and 12th grade syllabus. So majorly you have to focus on NCRT, which is the textbook uh, by the uh, government. And you have to go through some other resources, which you will eventually get. So you have almost three or four months next to your exam so you have to use it well how your exam goes entirely depends on how you spend the days just before the exam so i am here to guide you all through your journey this much for today thank you